Hello friends and gamers, my name is Jinx and welcome to Operation Hats. This is turn number 14 for the Italians. You may have noticed that I haven't put up the German turn. The reason being is as I record the German turn, my wife and kids had their jackets on, ready to go for a little family road trip. And uh, and uh, it was a fairly messy turn, quickly done, no turn summary or anything like that. And uh, I had to race out the door as soon as I was on recording. So I didn't end up uploading it in any kind of um, edited way on the internet and so I just shared the raw version with my co-players and that's why the game proceeded onwards but I haven't uploaded it just yet maybe I'll get to that at some point today there's been other news in our household as well um, my, my wife's pregnant and she's about four weeks from her due date but we might go for emergency inducing her pregnancy on Saturday there's trouble with uh, blood flow to the baby's head so that's what's going on and so life's been pretty busy on my end and there's a chance depending on how things go that I might not be able to continue this tournament and I'll have to hand it over to Trig or some other person might need to step in and help out but yeah we'll have to see I hope to kind of press onwards but um, of course it could be quite a grim situation if you know what I mean uh, blood flow to the kid's head you know it's not ideal so yeah, so we're hoping and praying things will go out okay and, and, and work out for everybody, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see. So let's, without further ado, dive into the Italian turn and keep this turn, I don't know if we should say brief, but we're going to keep it where it's at. <laughs> All right, so the Italians, what are they up to? Well, you know what? I um, should probably still roll for my technology, and then I'll go over little corrections from the previous turn. So I only have one tech that I'm going for for the Italians right now. And as you see, there's nothing started. So it's doubtful if I'll be able to finish the tech. But let's go for, I guess, long range aircraft, I think would be the most prudent choice. So here we go. Here's a, I'm going to just roll this dice. I think it needs to be a seven and up. And we didn't succeed anyways. So that's all good. So uh, I'll, I'll just press this one here. I'm at 68. Yeah, things look still the same. So a little correction here from the from the previous turn. Last turn, the Germans went and captured Scotland. Um, the British went ahead and recaptured it on the British turn, but they they forgot to roll for one of my AA guns. One of the dice wasn't rolled, and that roll turned out to be a success, and so one of the fighters needed to be taken off. So instead of the British being able to recapture Scotland, they retreated after the second round, I believe. And yeah, with four fighters left over and a few dudes as well, so... I think I thought there should be a mountain infantry somewhere here as well, but maybe I'm mistaken on that regards. So we'll leave it at that. Um, as is, I noticed that um, I, I should probably clarify with Davik, but I noticed that they put a marine here uh, when they put the units back on the board, and it should actually just be regular infantry. I don't think any marines partake took in that landing, so that's my little correction there. Um, and I think that's it. Let's dive into the Italian turn. They only have a couple combat. Oh, let's go for production. Production. Here we have, we're going out with, we have a five production slots. So we got an AA gun, three infantry, two militia, and we promised the Japs that we would lend these them an infantry. They did that. They were so kind enough to send us a fighter. And although Italy's is somewhat stretched at this point, we have to honor our commitments and send them a Japanese infantry. So there's that. So that's even 20 bucks that we're spending this turn. Turning our attention to the board, there is a couple dramatic events occurring. We're going to send these infantry these infantry class units that's seven units go to attack nubia and this tactical bomber is going to partake in that fight as well and then our second attack we're actually going to declare war on portugal boom now the reason being uh, in part anyways is that we don't want to be trapped in this corner here with the french bearing down on us and the tanks being able to hit us as well and also we want to maintain ourselves as a force in being so we're coming up to this position of course yes that does give our opponent some uh that gives our opponent some roundels here. They get Portuguese East Africa. They also get to keep Portugal, which is a little bit of a bigger deal. Boom. So that's two units for them. And this might be a flawed situation, but you know what? I thought about this in the last turn, and I'm still cool with it. I still like the concept behind it. I still think uh, I agree with it. So the idea that the French, uh, the, the, the Italians can make, remain a force in being in Africa at this late game, I don't think the matter of income is going to make too big of a difference. That Oh, shoot, I deleted, again, I deleted a bunch of units. So I had six dudes here, and one of them being a mountain infantry, if I am not mistaken. Six dudes in a mountain infantry. And um, my opponent had it's now a militia in Portuguese Africa and one over here in Portugal 
and that bumps their income up by two. So I'm going to just, uh, because I don't fully trust that little button, I'm going to put it to 24, and I'm going to hit the set button. Yeah, it looks like it's still registered. Good, 100%. I think some of these might not have little recordings on them, right? So I wanted to make sure that was correct. Okay, so those are our two attack moves. We do need to roll out this battle here. So that's going to be, uh, oops, this should be over here. In Egypt. Egypt. So we're going to roll that one out. Um, the attacking force, it's going into desert. So we're going to be rolling one, two, three, four, five, six, and a tactical bomber at seven. So let's roll these puppies out. We One hit, and that's all. And our opponent rolls a two here. An eight. So we managed to capture Sudan from the enemy. Which is no mean feat, but we take care of it anyways. Good, excellent. Okay, so we're going to likewise adjust our income over here. Our Italian income is steadily slipping down as our opponent grabs bits and pieces of our empire. Let's see, what did they grab so far? Well, they grabbed, of course, they grabbed this stuff. They grabbed Africa here, uh, South Africa. Ideally, I would have been able to keep this stuff here, and it would have been quite beneficial, but I didn't read that the French could continue on the fight. So that's part of the reason I lost that there. Okay, um, and that's it. That's it. A quick question here would be, uh, I suppose the Free French don't recover these two territories, do they? <laughs> Never mind. It's all good. All right, non-combat moves from Upper Egypt to Lower Egypt, one infantry. I'm going to put it right on my little task force marker here. And this fighter is going to make its way back to Northern England. Ah, Northern England. Northern Italy. While we're here, we're going to move from Northern Italy to Rome, one anti-aircraft gun just to make it a little harder for the enemy to capture. And from uh, Southern Anzio, I think it's called, we're going to send an infantry to Rome. We also have an infantry being railed all the way down to Syria. We put these guys into port over here, and this tactical armor is going to land back in Egypt. So there's that. And then we have one fighter is coming in from East Poland to Northern Italy. And we have another fighter coming into Central Romania. And that is it. I don't think there's anything else that needs to be done this turn. Yeah, that is it. So we go ahead and collect our... Well, I guess we could put our units on the board here. First, let's send this Japanese unit. Now, there's no interdicting units as far as I can gather with the absence of that sub. And this guy's going to come out across to Kyoto over here. Ready to help hit the enemy as needed. I could have sworn I didn't see any infantry here when I last looked, but... Maybe I'm mistaken there. All right, turning our attention back here for the rest of our dudes. I'm going to just go ahead and delete this one. For the rest of our dudes, let's go back to our only factory on the board. Kind of a shame that the British didn't build us a factory in Egypt, but hey, not this game, I guess. These guys will go here. Oh, right, I forgot to rail these guys. These three guys are going to be railed to East Poland over here. We need to hold out right here as much as we can, hold off the enemy. And I think that about does it for all our forces for movement. Yes, it does. Okay, and then we have two militia to put on the board. Those militia, I think we're going to put one in Rome. Hmm. One in Rome. What are our other colonies here? Tripolitania is not worth much. I think that's it. We don't really have any other colonies to worry about. One in Rome and the other one in, I guess, northern Italy. Yeah, that's what we'll do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Nine, ten, eleven. Eleven each. The enemy could throw at max four, five, six units at us. Plus all of his aircraft. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11 versus 11, but I have anti-aircraft gun and three fighters. I think we would, I think we're good enough here, especially with the fortification going on too. So I think we're happy about that situation. I think we're generally pretty happy about that situation. And we'll leave it as is. Yeah, not ideal, but we'll leave it as is. All right, now we go to our collecting income phase. Do, do, do. I'm a little paranoid now about the situation, so maybe I'll take another look. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten versus his potential. Eleven. I get a plus one from the city. Oh, and this is also mountain territory. Fully mountainous, I believe. I oh, know it's partially. It might be partially. It's one of those tough ones. I'm not entirely certain. I don't think it's fully. But they did say that Sydney was fully mountainous. So let's see if we can compare. Sydney, fully mountainous, I would say about over, well, the majority seems to be in the mountains. Although I personally disagree with that because I don't think Sydney is very mountainous. No more than my city <laughs> where I live in, in Alberta. This one here, you know, it's, it's depending on how you draw that line in the middle, but I would say it's, could be either or, could be either or at the end of the day. All right. They also have a river there to boot, so perhaps, regardless, that's going to be... Hmm. Anyways, I'm not sure. I'll have to double-check on that one. But, uh... That one militia, where to put? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. I think we'll leave it here. Baz is. Because we do have the city with the plus one. And we do have the two infantry, which would be at fives. And it's also mountainous for both of them. But this one has a fortification, so we'd be plus two. Yeah, we'll leave it as is. Although perhaps that's a little bit pushing the envelope a bit more than I'd like. You know what? All right, we'll do this. No, we won't. Okay, sorry about that. All right, we'll leave it as is. As you can see, it's somewhat tense here. 18 bucks to spend on the subsequent turn. Not too bad of a loss here since last turn. And we just take a quick view last minute here. Because he does have his shore bombardment as well. I think it's best to leave it as is. Okay, gentlemen, thank you all for watching and uh, being part of this here. And I appreciate your patience with me as I do my turns. Okay, cool. Next up, we pass it to MP7 as he plays the Americans. And we'll see what kind of threat he can throw against us. If it's going to be an all-out assault on Rome, northern Italy, I don't think he could quite hit Egypt with the forces that he liked because these aircraft could only move two spaces plus long range aircraft. So one, two, and three back onto the carrier. But everything else is more or less uh, not quite capable of doing much <clears throat> in that regards. But yeah, we'll have to see how that plays out. Thank you all for watching once again. Cheers.